Ah, trains. Where would the human race and the concept of rapidly evolving industry be without you? But also, where would set pieces and video games be without you? On planes and car chases, sure, that's all cool, but there's nothing quite like a good old thrilling train sequence to get your blood pumping. Here, let's take a look at 15 of the most memorable train sequences we've ever come across in video games. All aboard? All right then, choo-choo. Note, there will be spoilers ahead. Spider-Man Spider-Man, of course, is closely associated with trains and media thanks to the wall crawlers' exploits in the movies, and Insomniac's 2018 title paid full homage to that. Spidey's fight against Mr. Negative in a train barreling through New York's subway was brief, but it was also a tense and exciting moment. Of course, it also gets points for recreating bits of the train sequence from Spider-Man 2 in its own humorous way. Uncharted 2 when you think trains and video games, you think Uncharted 2, and also the other way around. The train in Uncharted 2 will always be among the most iconic set pieces in the history of the series, because this was where, in many ways, Uncharted really came into its own. Beginning with a firefight on a speeding train, quickly descending into explosive chaos and ending with Nate hanging off the edge of a snowy cliff. If that's not escalation, I don't know what is. Uncharted The Lost Legacy but of course, Uncharted 2 isn't the only time the series has done a spectacular train set piece. The Lost Legacy did it again, right at the very end. And not only did it have the explosiveness and thrills of the Uncharted 2 sequence, it also blended it all with shades of the convoy chase from Uncharted 4, mixing it all together for an epic and truly memorable sequence. Resident Evil Zero Ah, the Ecliptic Express, where the place where it all started, where denizens of Raccoon City would first encounter the T-Virus and few zombies who would go on to define much of Resident Evil's history. Resident Evil Zero itself might not be the typical, classic RE title that fans of the series had hoped it would be, but Rebecca and Billy's trek through the claustrophobic interiors of the Express in the opening section of the game will forever be imprinted into our minds. Final Fantasy VI the Phantom Train from Final Fantasy VI is doubly deserving of being on this list. For starters, it's a cool level to explore and go through in and of itself, but the fact that the train itself is also a boss fight of its own makes it that much more memorable, and makes it a perfect way to cap off the sequence. Of course, the fact that you literally get to suplex it into submission is also worth mentioning. Metal Slug X If you want to show somebody what Metal Slug X is all about, show them the train sequence in Mission 3. A straight run through screens and rooms filled with enemies, it truly lets you loose in this area. It's no cakewalk, of course, but with a veritable arsenal of cool weapons at your disposal, and with an excellent soundtrack pumping you on in the background, it sets the stage for some excellent and memorable carnage. Killzone 2 Killzone 2 might not have had a very special story, but it does have one of the most thrilling and memorable campaigns in a first-person shooter on the PS3, and the train level, Tharsis Refinery, is perhaps almost a perfect encapsulation of all of its strengths, frantic and chaotic. Moving through the carriages of the speeding train is what is essentially a gauntlet of the Hellgast's most challenging forces up until that point, makes for some memorable shootouts and a nice variation of indoor and outdoor environments, and a perfect pacing elevates the entire sequence to all new heights. Metro Exodus all of Metro Exodus is essentially one large train sequence, but we're talking about a very specific sequence here, about the scene where Artyom, Anna, and the Spartan Rangers get aboard the Aurora for the first time while it's escaping from the Moscow Metro, and getting chased in another train right alongside them on the tracks that is full of people trying to stop them from doing so. Climbing aboard the other train while both of them speed over the tracks, making it explode and barrel to a halt and jumping back to the Aurora, a perfect way to begin what would go on to be a memorable journey across post-apocalyptic Russia. Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow The train level in Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow is not only one of the best missions in the game, but also perhaps in the entire series. Repelling down on top of a moving train, moving inside and creeping through its dark interiors, moving to the bottom of the train, then to its sides, then back to the top. It's an excellent progression in an immaculately designed level that manages to blend the inherent thrills of its setting with the biggest strengths of the series itself perfectly. Super Mario 3D World 
Super Mario 3D World is essentially a collection of some of the best and most inventive level design you'll ever see in a Mario title, and the train level from World 3 is no different. It takes the concept of a regular old scrolling level, but contextualizes it in an incredible way. Moving through its carriages, avoiding bullet bills, stomping Goombas, all while witnessing some beautiful scenery in the background. It's a brief level, sure, but it's so good. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door The train level in Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is a perfect reminder of just how brilliant Paper Mario games can be thanks to its strong writing, and just how far the series has sadly fallen. The level design itself isn't anything to write home about, but the entire setup of a classic murder mystery makes it a truly memorable sequence. We can only hope that we'll get to see Paper Mario games attempting something like this once more not too long from now. Red Dead Redemption 2 Trains are a permanent fixture in much of Red Dead Redemption 2, just as they were in its predecessor. But here we're talking specifically of one sequence, the one which sees the Vanderlyn gang preparing to commit to one last score. Watching the remnants of the gang climb on board, fight their way through its coaches, take control of a mounted gun to mow down incoming backup, all while tensions are brewing among what had once been a tight-knit family. It's truly intense and serves as a perfect segue into a memorable finale. Gears of War Right from the beginning of the sequence, then fighting your way across multiple carriages, up to the end of the final confrontation, the ending sequence of Gears of War challenges you constantly. A gauntlet of waves upon waves of enemies coming at you in claustrophobic environments. A memorable end to a memorable game. Resistance 3 Resistance 3's campaign put players through one struggle after another on a constant basis, but the train level sticks out in memory for multiple reasons. There was the constantly changing scenery, the frantic firefights against enemies trying to chase you down, not to mention the fact that it introduced a completely new enemy type as well. A great package all around. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker Basically, every single level in Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is one worth remembering and singing praises about, but the Star Express is without a doubt among the very, very best the game has to offer. It mixes the typically strong and ingenious level design of the game with some excellent art style and a great looking location, and uses that location to excellent effect. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.